Hello, my name is Trisha and today I'm going to show you how to make your very own Monster Smash bowling game. You can design and decorate monsters out of plastic bottles, using your imagination to come up with as many Halloween characters you can think of, and then just grab a ball and have some fun bowling. You can play indoors or outdoors. Just try and smash and knock those mean monsters down. To create your Monster Smash bowling game, you're going to need plastic bottles. I'm using small bottles, but you can use whatever size or shape you wish. You're going to need paper, colored paper and white paper, markers, pencil, scissors and a ruler, a glue stick. To cover our bottles, you can use masking tape at the top or we're going to use the lids if you still have those. To weigh the bottle down to make the game a little harder, you can use rice or gravel or stones or beads. You're also going to need a ball. It can be any size or shape. You can try different ones out and you're going to need some sellotape. The first thing you're going to do is to decide on a design for your pins. You can create various Halloween themed characters such as ghosts, mummy, pumpkins or monsters, anything you can imagine. So first one I'm going to make is a pumpkin face. So I'm going to get my paper and measure it out. So be, depending on the size of the bottle that you're using, if you're using a small bottle or a big bottle, you're just going to measure it against the side. And you want to go to about where this line is at the top here, this ridge. And just roughly, you want it to go down to here, where this other little ridge is. That's about 12 centimeters. So I know each strip for my bottle will be about 12 centimeters. I cut that out and just check. So you can wrap it all the way around like this or make it a little bit shorter. So I'm just gonna cut a bit off mine here. I know my bottle is about this width, so I'm just going to roughly trace eyes and a nose and a mouth with a pencil first of all, see how big I want it to be. And then color it in. So now I have one done, I can use it to measure the rest as well. So for the next one, I'm going to use white and I'm going to make a ghost face. So again, just use my pencil, I'm going to draw it out and colour it in. For this one I'm going to do Frankenstein. I'm going to use a bit of colouring in and also sticking down. So I'm going to draw some eyes out on a separate bit of white paper first of all.
The next one I'm going to do is an alien monster. So I'm going to use scrap bits of paper again. I'm going to cut out some eyes and teeth. I'm just going to cut some spots out as well. So to create spots without having to cut out lots of different circles, I'm just going to fold over the paper first of all size I want my spots to be. And drawing a rough circle. Doesn't have to be perfect. Or... And then when you cut this all out, you'll get multiples. Just going to stick these all down now. And for my last one, I'm going to do a witch. So now we're going to attach our faces onto our bottles for our pins. I'm going to use glue stick and tape to make sure it's really strong because we'll be throwing a ball at it. First thing I do is put glue around the outside edge of the paper. And then you're going to do a big criss cross in the middle. And you can also do a plus for extra. Just wrapping it around the bottle. As tight as you can. And then you're just going to get the sellotape. And sellotape where the fold over is. And you're gonna sell tape it so it attaches to the bottle also along the edge like this. I'm gonna repeat this process for the rest of them as well. So once you have your faces finished, you might want to decide to add some extra bits to make it a bit more 3D. You can add ears or hair. So I'm going to do that with a few of mine as well. I'm going to add some hair to our witch. Just creating some fringing, cutting into the cardboard and leaving an edge at the top.
for my... I have a hat as well for my witch. Frankenstein's going to add some ears for him. He's doing the big bolts at the side. Making sure you leave enough to fold over a tab at the bottom. it on. I'm just going to create a little tab. So I'm just folding over the paper to create a little tab like this. And then you're going to add glue again. Stick it down like that. And a bit of sellotape as well. And for our pumpkin, just going to do pumpkin top. For my alien, I'm just going to do some antennas. So now you have your Halloween bowling bottles decorated. We're going to add some filler to each bottle. It can be dry beans, rice or gravel, just to weigh the bottles down to make the game a little bit harder. Or if you're using it outside, it's particularly good so it isn't so windy that the bottles get blown over. So I'm just using a funnel to put the rice into my bottle, but you can just use your, your hand. And you just need a little amount, just about to there, to fill it up. To seal your bottle then, if you still have your original bottle tops, you can use those. And put it back on again. You can seal it with the extra sellotape also. So now I'm going to show you how to close one off if you don't have a bottle top using just tape. First of all, we're just going to add our filler. So if you don't have your lid, you can just use some masking tape or sellotape to seal it off. So we're going to run a mask tape and then over on top then a couple of layers just to seal it up. If you're using masking tape, you can always color it in then or cover it up if you want to hide it. I'm just going to do the rest now. And there you have your finished Monster Smash bowling game, complete with Halloween themed bottle pins. And all you need now is your ball. It can be any size or shape. You can play indoors or outdoors, on the grass or on the sidewalk. All you need to do is line your pins up, just like in a normal bowling game, and throw your ball. You might want to give points for each bottle and invent your own game with rules. Anything is possible. So thank you so much for joining me and I hope you had lots of fun.